Good morning guys and welcome to another day in Ling Ling Life. I just prepared my face um, because I am going to this uh, Chinese dating event and yeah, that's gonna be very exciting. I just received a text message from my friend. I think she's ready to go as well. We're gonna go there in like an hour so... Wish me luck on that one. I'm gonna see if I can film a little bit from the event and then I'm gonna give you guys a short review afterwards or you know a summary of what was going on and if Ling Ling found a boyfriend. I don't think that's gonna happen anyway, but you know. <laughs> Talk later. This is my friend Vika. Vika! And we are two. I think so. We're two sad single ladies uh, trying to hunt down, <laughs> hunt down the place where we can have an act. <laughs> There's a guy in the tree. Ni hao. <laughs> I don't know why the guy is up in the tree. <laughs> That's just China. <laughs> Yeah, so th it's supposed to be this building, but I don't see any activity signs anywhere or any people and we're supposed to start pretty soon. So that's interesting, but yeah, we'll <clears throat> give you further notice when we know more about this situation. <laughs> mm. Well, we're not going to sit together. Because I'm one year 17. No. Wow, oh my god, this is so cute! So, I just got a number, and I'm sitting alone on the first row. Not awkward at all. Some people didn't show up, and they've been playing the same uh, sad romantic song three times in a row now. I don't know what to think. <laughs> Me and my friend, we both agreed that the host is actually the cutest guy in the room, but uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll get some. Neighbors at some point. After the host and the hostess had welcomed all of us, we had an opening show, I assume, with some Korean dance and music. Then we played a game and I lost and had to introduce myself in Chinese as the first one, of course, and afterwards it was these guys turn. Everyone seemed to have the same hobby, but yeah, this guy was really brave and he actually showed us his hobby. After the awkward introduction, we started playing games. It was um, fun and awkward, of course. We moved on to even more games and at some point I was thinking to myself, hmm, when do we actually have time to get to know each other? Well, it didn't really happen, but fun it was. After the big games, we sat down at different tables with girl boy, girl boy, and then you can see how much fun this girl she has. <laughs> um, all the time somebody was standing up to make a show out of, I don't know, like the boys had to carry around the girls, and the girls were screaming, and somebody started singing, and yeah, I don't know, it was uh, interesting and awkward, again, once again. Um, the introductions were all the same, hello, my name is, I'm from this university and my hobby is da 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 da. They all seem to have the same hobby and I didn't really get to know anyone actually, but it was uh, an experience. Before finishing the event, we of course also had to find the most beautiful girls and everyone was voting and we also wrote down the guys we liked the most and then they tried to set up the couples who chose each other. It was actually Super cute and it was super fun. Before going home, we had one girl who sang a beautiful love song and I think everyone was in love before they left this room. So guys, Ling Ling is back from her dating event. That was very uh, interesting, yeah. Um, <laughs> it was a bit of a uh, mix between an awkward uh, kindergarten experience party 
and uh, a live TV show because of course they were live broadcasting and walked around with a phone filming everything and there were so many cameras everywhere and it was really awkward in the beginning but the Chinese was so nice they were really really nice and uh, then we had to play a game and of course I lost so I had to go up in front of everyone and speak in the microphone and I was like ah! I was shaking so much because I had to talk in Chinese it made me so nervous but anyway overall it was so much fun I'm so happy that I went there it was a great experience I met some really cool people and you're probably wondering did Ling Ling find her prince on the white horse eh, probably not mm, but they were really nice and yeah, I met new friends, both girls and boys, and a lot of funny games. Also a few awkward ones and silly ones, but you know, different cultures. So we had just a lot of fun and now I'm back here in my dorm room. I'm so happy I went out of my comfort zone again. I'm also very excited to be back in my comfort zone. <laughs> so yeah, without more to say now, it's evening, I want to go to bed soon. Um, thank you guys for watching this little video and uh, yeah, please let me know about your experience with speed dating around the world or if it, and please let me know if it has something, has anything to do with what I just showed you guys in this video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day, evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll see you again very, very soon. Ling Ling is out. See you again and bye-bye.